Namaskar. I am Dr. Harihar Murthy. I'm practicing in Bangalore for more than 30 years as an ENT specialist and have been involved with different organizations in the propagation of knowledge of ear, nose and throat diseases. The vocal cords have to vibrate freely and be able to vibrate equally on both sides to be able to produce good voice. So the sound that is produced will be impaired if there's any impediment to the free vibration of the vocal cord margins. And invariably, the vocal cord margins, if they are not free, there's some impediment, there will be a qualitative change in the voice which can show up as hoarseness. Hoarseness of voice is something that is caused by an impediment. This can be either a vocal nodule, cysts, or it can be polyps, even for that matter, paralysis of the vocal cords, growth in the vocal cords, tumors, etc. In any case, the cyst is a feature that is commonly seen and this is a small mucus cyst that develops within the folds of the vocal cords. What needs to be done is to actually identify the cyst, go surgically, remove the cyst. We do it either under microscopic or endoscopic vision. It has to be removed so that we restore the vocal cords to the same position that they were as nature made them in the initial stage. So only when you are able to remove the impediment which is like a knuckle on the surface of the margin of the vocal cord, you will not be able to get good quality voice. So the purpose of removing the cyst would be surgical and it has to be done to remove the impediment to normal vibration of the vocal cords. Vocal therapy is done after that in the form of regular voice therapy. Speech therapists are equipped to do that on a regular basis to help the restoration of normal voice thereafter.